Pilots of the world, Sam here from Motion RC, taking a close look at Tech One's newest trainer, the Mercury. This plane's got a 1400 millimeter wingspan, which really lends itself to some nice gliding as well as making it an amazing trainer. Starting at the front here, you got a nice plastic nose cone. Notice there's no propeller. That's actually back here, which is, you see this in many trainers, and it's a really great feature when you get into the hobby and you're still learning how to fly these planes. Easily removable battery hatch. You see here I'm running a three cell 2200. Some people use the 1800, but I like balancing it out, giving a little bit more weight in the nose. And you know, this hatch goes in nice and easily. Coming in the package, you also have a different canopy here that allows for a mount for a camera if you want to get some aerial footage or something along those lines, getting into the world of FPV. Going up to the wing here, really easily removable, splits into two pieces with a carbon fiber rod down the middle, and you just put it on with some rubber bands, so it makes it really easy to transport going out to the field. Unlike many planes in this trainer category, you have ailerons with the Tech One Mercury, so that adds a different level you know, that really steps you up if you're looking to get into the larger warbirds and continue getting deeper into this hobby. It allows you to step it up to the next level. Along with that, you have the option for flaps. So you can insert a couple servos in there and that really does take it to the next level and get you more prepared to fly some of the larger aircraft. Again, you got the pusher propeller back here, as well as the standard rudder and elevator. This plane comes in the blue version, seen here, as well as the red, which is also available from Motion RC. You know, this is just like the plane I started out on, and it's really great to get you into the world of remote control flying to a whole deeper level, especially having the versatility of adding flaps and with having ailerons, which gets you into the whole world of uh, RC flying. You know, let's get this plane up in the air and see how she flies. Now, of course, we recommend, as a beginner pilot, starting to fly in minimal winds. You want zero to five miles per hour. But we're going to be showing you how this plane handles in a little bit more wind, 10 to 15 miles per hour. We know you pilots all across the country have to deal with some adverse weather conditions, so flying like this shouldn't be too bad with the Mercury. Let's get out there. All right, we are out here on the runway. Just going to give it about a quarter throttle. As you said, it's pretty windy out here, so we'll see how this plane handles. And we are off. Picks it right up nicely. See, I'm going full left to right on the ailerons there. And it is barely rocking. That just shows how stable these aerodynamics are for the Tech 1 Mercury. Going downwind here, wind's really taking me along the runway. And we are coming in down the center line. We're going to do a slow pass here. I'm just, just under a half throttle. Nose is pointing into the wind there. And that looks great. All right, I'm going to bring a little more power, bring it up here. If the place you're flying doesn't have a paved strip like we have here in Southern California, you can take off the wheels and hand launch this so you can land on grass or other surfaces like that a lot easier without scuffing off the bottom. It's also great on a windy day like this. You can just cut the power and it glides so beautifully. So we're just going to bring the throttle all the way down here. And this is just riding the winds. Having wheels gives pilots the opportunity to I definitely do recommend putting the wheels on if you have the space to fly it because getting landing practice in is definitely crucial to learning how to fly larger RC airplanes. So they are just doing small corrections with the ailerons and rudder, keeping the nose pointing into the wind, and that lets this plane hover like you're seeing right now. We are staying in the same place. This is great. This is amazing. A little bit to the left there. Just need a little bit of rudder to correct it. Get in a little lower here. Oh. See, that was just ailerons, and bringing up that throttle to the full got me out of that situation there where the wind died down for a second, and I lost my lift. So, just brought up that throttle, and we were completely fine just out of that situation. Get it full power here, nice and low. A little inadvertent touch and go there. Gear handled it nicely. I'm trying to do a loop here, just bring a full throttle, elevator back, and just over the top. That is great. And this 
wind, we're pretty much hovering here, just like a helicopter bringing it in. There you see that durable landing gear took a little bit of a beating there, but we are down safely. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the hangar with the Tech One Mercury after an awesome week of flying. This plane has proven to be an amazing trainer with this 1400 millimeter wingspan really lending itself to some great flying characteristics. Obviously, we flew this plane in way more wind than you would want to as a beginner pilot, but as you get more experience on this Mercury, it's able to handle that wind with no problem. You've got your super durable nose cone here, as well as EPO foam construction across the wing and tail section, and a carbon fiber tail boom. This plane is available for Motion RC in both blue, as seen here, and red. If you haven't already checked out the build video, head on over to Motion RC's YouTube channel to see that. If you have any more questions about RC flying, don't hesitate to visit motionrc.com slash knowledgebase or ask your own questions over at the forums at hobbysquawk.com. Thanks so much for watching the flight review of the Tech One Mercury, and we'll see you next time.